Welcome to the Mother of Wands channel. My name is Follow Me, and in this reading, we're going to be looking at the month of July. We're going to be looking at any messages for the month ahead coming out for any sun, moon, rising, Scorpios. It doesn't matter where it is in your chart. Maybe you're cross-watching for a friend, but this reading is going to be for you. So anyone who's resonating with the energy of Scorpio, I just want to let you guys know the way I do my readings before we shuffle and get started here. So I'm first and foremost going to be looking at what energy there is coming in from the past. This is a general reading, so it's not going to be for everybody. So keep that in mind. This part of it, looking at the past, is going to give you this insight as to whether or not this reading is for you this week. Then, once you've ascertained that it is, we're going to move forward and look at what energies are presenting themselves now and how the universe would like to move things forward with you on your behalf and how you can work with that energy. You're going to want to stick around to the end where we're going to pull out some oracle cards and look at different aspects of life as they are unraveling and different energies and how they will um, assist you this month ahead. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and shuffle up these decks one final time here on camera so go ahead and put in any energies questions thoughts ideas feelings that you're having into this deck as we shuffle it up and then we're going to go ahead and get started i'll meet you at the reading So all of you Scorpios, thank you so much for joining me here. If you do like these readings, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know how this reading landed for you. I'm going to get into what crystal is going to benefit you the most this month here in one moment. But wow, this is a really potent reading for Scorpios. Okay, wow, I love this card when it comes out. It's an extra card in this deck, the magic card. I really love it. Um, okay, so first and foremost, you guys, for this month, I pulled out a starring rose quartz. It doesn't star that well in natural sunlight. Um, it needs kind of like a, a beam of light coming in on it. But rose quartz is great for helping to heal the heart. And this month, you're going to find a lot of heart healing happening through shifting your perspective and allowing yourself to see the light in different directions this month. So that's what's coming out for you guys there. Now, who this reading is for is really quite interesting. We have death reverse, four of wands, and four of cups, double fours there. And um, we don't see any other fours on the board, but we see two twos on top of each other mirroring each other, which is also a four. So what I see here first and foremost is that there's been transitions. Um, and the thing is that things changed in the past for you, but you, it's like you wish they hadn't have changed. Um, you're resistant to the changes that happened. You're doubting whether or not they were even a good idea. Something's happened in the past perhaps. Um, and you're like, uh, wait, should I have done that? Was that a right choice for me? And, um, you, you have ideas about whether or not your um, kind of happily ever after if that makes sense in some way was wrapped up in this and you're like wow did I um, actually did I overlook a good thing um, did I mess something up? Did I walk away from something that would have been a satisfying relationship or union in the past? Um, for some others of you, because I'm seeing kind of a split happening in this reading, I'm seeing this other thing where it's like you felt that you should have walked away from something, but through staying with something in a more deep way, you've realized now that that thing is more for you than it ever was. So it allowed you to step up into growth in a new and different way because you didn't just walk away from it. So take that as it resonates. We're going to pull a clarity fire here yeah the judgment card there's like this higher calling that's moving you in this different direction and yet you're like wait this thing i'm leaving behind was that the right thing because that felt really good too the thing is that in your present what we see is that there's tons of potential for creative unions and possibilities around you this could be in love of uh, relationships family this could be in work life uh, home life anyways but there's this amazing opportunity here being presented to you in the present so this could be any time in the first two weeks of july where you're being presented with this opportunity to co 
co-create with someone else or a community of people around you. The thing is that you want to be very careful that you don't allow this to knock you off your own course. There could be some people around you that are like wolf and sheep's clothing this month, especially in the first half of the month where they're showing up in a way that makes it seem like they've got everything you want and um, you know all these beautiful things will come from it. But in the end of the day, what it is is that it's just really a distraction. It's going to knock you off your course and it's going to leave you um, feeling a little bit upset. But through that journey and experience, you might actually find out some deeper truths about this past scenario. So my recommendation here is to really allow yourself to engage in any kinds of um, interactions and and um, unions and experiences hanging out with other people this month but be vigilant and really don't allow it to knock you off too hard don't give so much that your schedule is messed up and then you're late for work and then you get a write-up or you get fired like you know those types of things stay on your game while you're mixing and mingling with others this month and some insights could be revealed to you about this past situation past person or perhaps even about your own desires they could be revealed to you in a more different, in a more authentic and genuine way where you could end up being like, wow, I let that thing go. And I'm so glad that wasn't even what I wanted come to find out. Oh, you know what I mean? So there's going to be some recognitions and some realizations, but overall, there's going to be a lot of really exciting things happening to really spark your creativity and to really help you feel like you're at maximum creative output this month. I feel like this is a very exciting month for you um, where you're able to really focus in on your own individual realms in some ways. There could be some supporting characters to that, but overall, it's just helping you feel very full. Full Life is feeling rich. It's feeling, you know, like, wow, I... Um, I finally had, I'm, I, I'm at that place I was wondering if I would ever get to in my life, that kind of an energy. But as we're moving forward, what we see here is that you're kind of losing hope that you did the right thing by walking away. And so overall, I feel like y y there's this message that needs to come out for you. And I actually want to pull a clarifier. I don't usually do this, but I want to pull a clarifier with this deck for you guys on this because I really want to see one thing here about what's going on. Yeah. It seems to me like for some of you Scorpios out there, Yeah, wow. It seems to me like some of you guys might, um, and this is going to be very specific, but this is just the energy I'm seeing here. Some of you guys might be actually hung up on an ex um, or on what could have, should have, would have, you know, whatever have been um, with someone in your past. And the thing is that as you're tied up with that energy, it could, it could end up making you feel stuck in a way that you don't want to feel stuck. It's like you're having this inner fight and this inner argument and, the, and what you need to be doing is stepping back into your kinghood and stepping back into that space of knowing that you're on the right path in the right direction and with the applicable use of your wisdom, your will, and your mind you know, combined together, you will not only recreate that situation if it needs to be recreated or you will create a new and better one, but it's important that you don't get too hung up on the past here. Some of you guys are looking at something that's a missed opportunity as a missed opportunity or looking at something as if it's a missed opportunity, but it's not actually. Um, it could be like one of those things that, where you thought you would never see this person again, but then you end up running into them and then things spark from there or something like that where that that's not going to happen in july i'm not seeing that happening in july but what i'm seeing here is that you're viewing something as being over but the universe is kind of laughing think you're like yeah you think it's over that's funny you don't even know the ways that we we create magic the ways that we work and the thing is that as you're allowing yourself like it's, it's one of those things where if your mind is dwelling on this idea then your physical actions are being slowed down in some sense because part of your mind is over here thinking about this thing from the past. And so this is saying you really need to gather up your mind and your heart and your soul, your will, your wisdom, and your mind, like I said earlier, and bring them all together into harmony and move forward in a positive way. Whatever the situation is from the past, it needs to be healed and released in a way that can allow it to actually either come back in or come back in through another person in a healthier way but right now it's almost as if you want to just recreate that same situation so you're looking around for people where you can that will fit this past bill more of the same but the thing is that that same person place opportunity whatever might even arise or another 
amalgamation of it even better will arise. So it's like, stop worrying about it. This isn't the month for it to happen regardless. What needs to happen this month is you unifying yourself and you stepping up and standing in your strength. For those of you guys where this reading split in the beginning and it was like, or you were thinking you needed to walk away from something, but you didn't, it's kind of like one of these things that's presenting here where it's like, okay, if that resonated with you, you need to really wholeheartedly get on the boat of I'm leaving or I'm staying. And if you're staying, you can't think about leaving anymore. And if you're leaving, you can't think about staying anymore. You need to have the separation and this divide. You need to decide what to do. And we see that with the War of Roses, the separation, this divide. Some of you guys have lost hope for a situation you're in, but you haven't mustered up the courage to walk away from it yet, and it's thwarting so many different avenues of your life. And really, you're needing to work with that and release that and let that go so you can step into something way more exciting towards the end of the year. This month is more of like a playful month where it's kind of like just looking at around you who can create, who can play, who can have fun, and how can I release any kinds of mental constructs or prisons I've put on myself? And how can I really allow myself to be present in the moment instead of wondering the what ifs from the past? When it comes to relationships in your life this month, I'm also strongly getting take the lead. This is showing up to let you know that if you want a relationship in your life that's not, you need to step up and ask for it. That's what we see with the King of Roses as well. He's about to make an offering of roses to his loved one. He's about to go to that woman of his dreams and be like, whether you knew this or not, I've been thinking about you and I'm ready for this or whatever it might be. This is encouraging you to take the lead, to move things forward, and to really, I don't know why I'm shuffling this deck, <clears throat> and to really um, allow yourself to pursue the friendships, the creative endeavors, the, um, the co-creations that you want this month. Don't be scared to step up and say, hey, you want to make a painting together? Or like, hey, do you want to start a business together? Hey, do you want to do these things? Take the lead when it comes to relationships and family and healing and mending things this month. Let's see what you can do to honor yourself the most this month. What ways can you most potently show self-love this month? All right, let's see what it is. Harmony. This is really beautiful. This is allowing yourself to be at peace with the past, with all the versions of you that got you to this point, all the people along the way that were stepping stones and helping you become that. And at the same time, this is also saying that there might be someone in your life you want to heal some things with and bring some harmony into um, into place with. There could be some people who, like this, this is like a, a vibe where it's like, you're in love with someone, but they don't even know that you love them. <laughs> they, you might be totally off the radar here. And I think that's why we see this rose quartz come out for you guys too. We see all this love energy here. And this is really about allow yourself to be in harmony with yourself and to wait until you're feeling in that harmonious place with yourself before you go out and initiate and take the lead in any relationships that you're feeling called to this month. Revealing Radiance, my light illuminates the world. This is a card that's really saying that once you allow yourself, look at all this light energy that we have here though. This is, a lot, this is really saying um, that once you really allow yourself to, to follow the path that you want to, once you really allow yourself to get in harmony between that will, that wisdom, and that mind, that's going to radiate out into the world around you and become noticeable. Breathing is going to be important for you guys this month and spending time in nature could even come up with help you to come up with really great and fantastic ideas for how to handle your finances or your money. Anytime you're feeling stressed this month, I would highly recommend to go out for a walk, be around some trees, do some breath work, exercises, anything that you want. This is about being in harmony with the world around you and with the nature around you, with the people around you, with you yourself, with your surroundings. This is a month where you're bringing yourself back into harmony and alignment with who you are and that's going to open up opportunities for you to play and have fun with those around you. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today and I will see you next time and until then I am singing so much bliss in your direction.